glasses. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I can't do this, you guys. This is one of my best friends, Rachel. I brought her into this video because she, number one, makes me, everything she says makes me pee myself laughing, so sorry in advance. And she's always the person I go to for advice. Yeah, we Aww. text each other manic, like every five seconds. <laughs> Ooh. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Rachel. Okay, so Annika and I, we how long have we been friends? Literally since grade seven. Okay, the backstory is Annika, you know Annika's a real one because everyone else calls me Ray, but Annika calls me Rachel and people get so confused. I can't call her Ray. Because she's a real one. Um, I've been there before the Ray stage. Yeah, literally. She's vegan. Yes. Annika and I met kind of modeling. She DM'd me, or not DM'd me, I guess. Facebook message. Facebook messaged me and goes, how'd you get into modeling? Did I actually say that? Yeah. You actually messaged me. I could probably find it. We talked on Facebook before we became friends. <laughs> she um, grew up in Vancouver Island, and then you lived in Collingwood. Yeah. And she would come down to Toronto and see me. I would go up to Collingwood and like during the summer and stuff and see her. Now my parents live in Victoria. It's Vancouver Island, and she I live in Toronto. She lives in Yorkville. She lives in Yorkville. Just to be clear, she does have a condo in Yorkville, and she does live in Yorkville. Um, no bullshit. Yorkville is where she lives. Um, she's super rich. <laughs> I hate when people put like Yorkville, Toronto as a geotech. Bridal path, location tech. I'm like, come on. Like, So the reason I want to do this advice video, I asked on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, do it. Okay, I can't even put that in. Like, <laughs> Do it. Woo. I need to cut that one out, but follow Rachel on Instagram here. I'll put it on your face. No, but I'm with Rachel, I feel I'm drunk. With you, like, I feel out of control. <laughs> like, not, you're like, get me a G-Wagon, man. <laughs> okay. You know, like, people are gonna think about this was supposed to be advice. <laughs> We're gonna have, like, a theme. I think it should be, like, like, yourself, like, confidence, relationships, friendships, because I don't want to do advice. Like, I got random ones being, like, how to lose weight and like yeah, let's what, go where to get a tattoo. I don't want to do random. I want to do more like mental health. Stuff that can actually like, help you. Yeah, mental health shit. And you are really good at advice. So let's destroy it. Thanks. But I had a really tough night last night. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. People are fucking crazy. <laughs> Basically more of the story. I want you guys to know that like I look really happy right now and stuff. But last night was like. I'm laughing at it now because obviously in the advice we'll go through it, like people do things because of themselves. And that's what you have to do. You. you have to let things roll off your shoulders. But it's okay to also feel like shit. Like, oh my God, I'm like getting emotional talking about it. People are going through pain that you don't know about. It was awful. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about, cause I know so many of you are going through similar things. So many of the questions I got about the advice, it was awful. Like you could feel the pain in the questions being like, why do my friends suck? Why does no one care about me? There's so many like painful mm -hmm. things and we both have boyfriends and I would say that we're both so really blessed. Oh my God. Really good girlfriends too. We're fucking crazy sometimes. <laughs> We are crazy, <laughs> but like the best are and I think we're good people. The best are <laughs> We have stable relationships. We have stable friendships. We're good people. <laughs> we're good people. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Welcome back to our channel <laughs> People for some reason assume that like I have crazy ulterior motives and I come across as this like Nice genuine poor girl with mental health problems on YouTube ah! And then I'm secretly this like uh, demon behind my phone and like I've so no, I'm like in this to manipulate no. everyone And has always been like this too like since I met you she would always get in shit in high school Not in shit but like people in would trouble. start drama with her in high school like in university like all throughout I feel just because like you most people wouldn't be as vulnerable as you are and like she opens herself like some of the things Annika does I'm like I would never fucking do that like I would not give that person the time of day where you do and then it comes to bite you in the ass like you're too like you're like you try to find the good in people we can all like sit back with our best friends and like have a good shit talk but like when it comes to being a genuinely good person i think we're good people yeah i was about just us. talking about 10 minutes about how amazing we are as people <laughs> don't worry we're also fucking crazy like shit we show. like take our own advice this is why we give each other advice because, half of this like, advice i don't take yeah so okay. how to be less codependent on your partner because you and ethan her boyfriend's name ethan mine's ben if you don't know but you and ethan have like a really healthy relationship yeah usually. <laughs> 
Okay, so when I first started seeing my boyfriend, I wanted to be, I mean, I am with him like 90% of the time, but it used like, to like, I used to get really sad when I wasn't with him. And like, it would be like really hard on me because of course you just want to be with your partner all the time. And I would say knowing how to spend time on your own is very important because you can't just like give yourself to someone else completely. Finding things that are yours, like your yeah. niche, like yeah. do like, my like, thing is like YouTube videos, Ben doesn't have that. You don't have to share all the same thing no. as your partner. I like, I love, love being with Ethan so much. But then of course, like I you love need those few days like to myself too. To, a like, huge thing for me is girls nights too. Have oh, wine yeah. nights with your best friend. And, it's really and don't like, invite your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And like, I know that sounds mean, but like I'll always invite Ben to make him feel happy. But Ben respects me enough to be like, thank you for the invite. And day, we double but dates. You do your thing. Double, double dates. dates are the best because like we'll like fuck around and be crazy, and then our boyfriends talk about the stock market. <laughs> oh my god, is that Ben? Oh, is that another Ben? Yeah. Oh, it's cute. It's my sister's boyfriend. Someone asked for breakup advice. Yeah, you're better at this. And it was a boy who asked it. So I'm like, Aww. I just find it so cute when boys can be vulnerable. Don't talk to them. Every couple or like ex couple who still talks to each other ends up not either getting back together or fighting or you can't get over them. Just you have to put yourself first sometimes. And it's going to be the most painful thing in the world, but the number one thing is just because you love someone doesn't mean you should be with them that is so important there's so many people who stay with the piece the like such awful people girls or guys either cheating toxicity anything it's not the right time in their life and they'll stay with them because they love them when you break up with someone you love them but that doesn't mean you go back you will fall out of love with them and you will another find thing, someone who helps your heart heal and you can move on to the next best thing and i think i will say is a lot of people go through breakups and they look back and they're like oh my god why did i stay with that person for so long like i know most people i know they're like oh my god like, why was I with that person? My mom always told me that if everyone died from heartbreak, everyone would be dead because we all go through it. Advice for a teen or something you would say to your younger self. Might Stop be being friends. so fucking nice to people who yeah. suck. Take those few good friends mm -hmm. that like treat you like angel. Take those friends, you'll be friends with them forever. It doesn't matter how popular they are. It doesn't matter how pretty they are. It doesn't matter what social status they have, what money they have. You'll figure you it out will too cherish the good friends once you realize how fucked everyone else is. Ben doesn't shit talk that much. Ben will no, shit he, talk. But he loves hearing my stuff. He's always like, really? give me the tea. Oh my god. That's just because he loves He you. loves My boyfriend's like, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'll call him. Like, okay. Everyone needs to vent. Get it out to the people you trust. What's your advice on how to deal with misleading signals from okay. a guy? Can I, can I go off here? Oh, go off. Um, the thing about an asshole is they don't give a fuck about you. And if they're not giving, they could be like giving you just enough signs. To like, keep you like. To keep you interested, but they're totally. talking to like five other girls. Like, and it and you, makes and you feel. Pathological liar. Yeah, if you were the only one. It's not consistent then gas by totally. my mom used to always say next him that's she used to say to me <laughs> next yeah oh my god she beat ariana grande yeah whoa how to deal jealousy when you're the jealous one okay <laughs> no because i'm so bad at this <laughs> we're both crazy i'm better but i'll have my moments with ben where like i'll flip at him for the past or, or flip at him it's for hard. like he loves do someone. you yeah because they're like i'm like do you even love me like do you think i'm pretty it's hard when someone says to you but that was my past because like it even though it was the past it was so long it's ago still it's bad. still like and it freaks it, you out even though it's like they were a different person yeah, yeah and no jealousy doubt. ruins relationships too like and it makes you like your partner if you're always on your partner about like it wears them down it totally wears them mm -hmm. down and you have to just find a way to love yourself more because the more oh i might holding this <laughs> lip gloss the more you love yourself the less you're gonna worry about other people because you're like i'm the shit and it, it, it honestly does like it might like it comes in phases i find like you might be like really upset about it and then one day it doesn't matter anymore and most people like i think i can vote for this you can vote for this most people like look back at their past like everyone i've been with before i'm like i look back and i'm like oh my god what was i thinking and you have to and trust then, that like, they feel the same that, yeah and then that one person that you're with now you're like this is what i've been waiting for and Every, for some people it's not if you're in a fucking crazy toxic relationship but like when you find like we're coming from like two people who have really like stable relationships totally <laughs> ben and i always say you have to slay a bunch of dragons before you get the prince last yeah. process so, so true you have to go through shitty things to get to the person that you're meant to be with how to adjust to being single after two years 
a lot of my friends do say when you're in a relationship like you miss certain things about being single and then when you're single you miss being in a relationship totally and that's normal and i think that like just be happy about not be happy about being single but like <laughs> be happy about being fucking heartbroken he no. hates you <laughs> just go through the motions like let it happen and if like set the person's supposed to come into your life they eventually will you know my dad always says don't grow up too fast have fun getting wasted with your friends and having no one to care be few <laughs> how do you stop caring for a toxic friend okay friends. the thing i will say is like i am the type of person that i will give people a thousand chances like if someone's my friend yes i if someone's my friend i will give someone like actually a thousand chances until they do something that's like so unbelievably messed up that i'm like done you have to have boundaries for yourself and that's another form of self-respect and self-love is okay yeah self-love is eating ice cream when you want to, but another form of self-love is doing making really hard decisions of who to cut out and who to not. Mm -hmm. And you don't cut out a friend if she calls you a bitch one time. No. You cut them no, out no, when, no, no, no. when you are feeling more anxious and sad than you are happy and, or they do something dangerous. Like there's, I've, shit, I've literally crazy. been friends with people before where it was like, my mom was like, you need to cut this person off. Cause like, I think they're a danger to your life. And like, totally like there are situations like that, especially too. I think the thing about high school friends or like friends you meet when you're younger, you kind of know their family. Like, you know, like, yeah. you know, you their family, them. you know more about them or when you get older, like us now, like I meet people all the time and I'll never meet their parents. I'll never know where they're actually from. And don't get so, me like, there can be cool people with crazy parents but we know that like if you yeah. were, if you grew up with them you would know that versus we're like, now it's like lies now become like unbelievable like i would trust people now and like what happened very recently yeah. is like you trust people and then you hear in the background the parents are being like crazy cr shit cr parents people with children i'm just in love with this camera okay, yeah how to get more confident socially Okay, that's all you. I don't know. I don't get insecure socially. I'm just really <laughs> fucking nice. cool. Um, I guess um, one of my favorite things ever is you know who you are. And if people are like judging you based on something they heard from their friend Stacy, ooh, like fuck Stacy. You know who you are. Your friends know the type of person you are. Your friends have know like know what you've been through and go out with people that make you happy. Don't go out with people who are just because like they're popular or something. Mm -hmm. Go out with your friends and have a fucking good time. Get drunk, fake it till you make it. This sounds shallow, but like wear an outfit that makes you feel confident. Yeah, that's enough. If I go out in an outfit like I don't vibe with, no. And don't do the social standard shit. Like, and get so many, drunk. When you're getting ready, get drunk. That's what I do. And okay, picking an outfit for me is like, there'll be tears. Like my closet is on the <laughs> ground. Like I'm like, I don't look good. I look like, <laughs> fat i look ugly anyways maybe don't put that in <laughs> then if I, i'll have like two glasses of wine when i'm getting ready and i'm like, and I'm, hot. I'm, like I'm the sexiest motherfucker in here that and then i'll like go out and i'm like i can't believe you let me wear that out don't because <laughs> like, you're drunk i feel like we used to pick outfits when we were young we didn't give a shit annika by the way we used to wear leggings and a crop top to the club used to no, now you've moved on to skirts. <laughs> That's so true. Wear an outfit that makes you feel confident. Wear as much makeup or as little makeup as you want. And look in the mirror and, and tell yourself that you're fucking sexy. I can't control my mood swings and it interferes with my relationship and people around me. <laughs> me. <laughs> I sent this in. <laughs> I've been diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, but I don't really know much about it. And I hate telling people that because people like, they use it against you and they go, you know what? No one believes anything you say. You're crazy. You're not Which crazy. When you that's that should be like a hate crime like can you sue someone for like <laughs> i feel like if someone is attacking you or being mean to you it's like it comes from their own insecurities Always. and i know what it's like to have mood swings and feel lash out at someone and then feel immediately mm -hmm. guilty and not understand why you did that or why you feel a certain way or you feel like the world's against you or you feel like you're totally alone those are a lot of the symptoms of bpd and that doesn't make you crazy mm -hmm. that and anyone in your life knows that like you can be stable you can be rational it might take work um but if you can get to the point where i am and just you know therapy hard work and you know breathing thinking before you speak i think people in your life would also appreciate that more because i know it is hard to deal with people with mood swings i mean we all have people in our lives with mood swings including myself you heard it here first <laughs> how to deal with jealousy slash comparison in a realistic and healthy way <sighs> Our generation, like we were saying, is like so fucked up. And just knowing that like what you see on the internet for starters isn't 
the reality like everyone of course you want a good photo of yourself you're gonna post the best photo of yourself on your instagram most of the time when people take those photos it's like makeup like they're on vacation like putting on a nice they outfit. took 300 photos and one turned out like exactly my, my instagram photos people are like instagram verse for oh, life i'm like yeah. okay well that's because i took 300 and i picked the best mm -hmm. one also like I think it's human nature to compare yourself to mm -hmm. others, but I think it gets unhealthy when you start saying that like their beauty or their talent takes away from my beauty and my talent. There's a reason why people look different. Me and Rachel, mm -hmm. totally people different. might think that Rachel's prettier than me or I'm prettier than Rachel. Who cares? Because we're totally different looking. Even if Rachel, blonde hair, blue eyes, freckles, literally me, everything is subjective. You're a different person. Like different as a values. human being, you're not even like, Okay, your outside appearance doesn't match like what's inside and you have everything subjective. Mm -hmm. Ethan would not want to date me and Ben would not want to date Rachel. Exactly. Like everyone is so different. You're yeah. you and people are gonna like the second you get confident, people are gonna try to copy you and you'll see like, oh and like find literally find what looks for you. Like I mean looks I can't speak works. English. Yeah, works for you and like figure I think one of the best things that someone ever told me as I was going to this trainer like two years ago and I remember like I showed him a picture of a girl and I was like this is like my dream body it was literally probably a picture of Emrata and <laughs> he said to me he's like but you could never have that body even if I trained you in that way because you don't have her bone structure you don't have like you literally have nothing that is inside her is mm -hmm. inside you like she, you'll never look like her I'll never look again like his ass like it's just different it'll be a different ass because guess what <laughs> We're different. we all have different asses my ex and I have been on and off for a good eight months. He's hot and cold with me. Help. Bye. Bye. I like the rooster sounds. Like, where has this come from? Like, I'm actually terrified. How do you handle friends that aren't happy for you? Especially... Okay. If I go, could yeah. go off about this case. This like, is why Rachel and I are so close is because I'm like, I want her to do better than me. I yeah. have some friends, actually one in particular, that she would be the happiest if I dropped out of school, lost my internship, and my boyfriend broke up with me. Like, I'm not <laughs> kidding you. Like, she would be like having a heyday. She'd be like, well, let's just go get wasted. I think like one of the most unattractive traits is je not jealousy, but like, um, yeah, I guess jealousy would be... <laughs> If you can't be happy for someone else, that's like a huge issue. That is the worst quality. Competitiveness. I wasn't going to say jealousy. I was going to say com I always find it's kind of good to have competitiveness in a relationship, like push each other. Oh, but when yeah. it comes like girl on girl no. friendship, like you, you can't. Any advice for long distance relationships? I live in BC and my boyfriend lives in Ontario. I screenshotted this one because I was like, this is creepy. She's from BC. Her boyfriend often lives in like yeah Ontario. Ontario and they have to so what's your advice okay so when we first started dating he lived in San Diego California so when we started dating there would be like times where it'd be like 28 days where we wouldn't see each other and like I would fly to San Diego or he would come to Toronto to visit me but FaceTiming a lot mm -hmm. I mean now looking back I could never ever do that ever again just because, some people like, can't I couldn't yeah but I would say FaceTiming and also you have to have, if you're in a long distance relationship, you have to have really good best friends. Like I think that's a major thing because it gets super Goes back to the codependent lonely. thing. Yeah, like I, when we when we were apart and he was living in San Diego, California, I, what did I do? I, I would just hang out with my friends, honestly. And then I would be like, when you see them, it's like the most euphoric, crazy feeling in the world. Oh yeah. It makes you appreciate them more, honestly. Like it's not the heart grow yeah. stronger or fonder? Fonder. Ben, we're filming a video. Do you want to be in it with us? Oh my oh. God, the arm. Look how cute he is. Come here. No, 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 Peace. no. Peace. No. Ben, turn you're so that, cute. Turn that off and I'll come over. Oh, I'll come and give a hug. I'll edit it out. I'm not. Ben, I want a hug. I love you. Thanks for coming in. Feeling. Okay, how are you feeling? Good. Well, why would I be feeling bad? <laughs> I don't know. You guys look pretty. Thank you. Hey, who looks prettier? Annika. Rage. Rage, yeah, fair. Yeah. We're back. The lighting's probably gone down because we took so long to order fresh. I can't believe Ben just lurking. Ben's sitting behind the camera. I was the type of person. What the fuck was that? That was like a leg pop. <laughs> I genuinely thought Ben was wearing an overall. Yeah, probably better. Okay, just, just continue. Better. Like, I fucking, like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so supportive of your YouTube career, Anna. <laughs> He's like doing leg kicks. I always have this fear that everyone hates me and that there's always a deeper meaning behind things when there's usually not. It's part of my anxiety. Have you ever gone through something like this and how do you deal with those thoughts? That is me to a T. Remember how you said that since high school I always thought the world was against me? Mm -hmm. And it's not even like a pity victim thing. Oh. It's like 
I have this like I tell Ben Ben, how often do I tell you that like I'm scared you're secretly gonna find out that I'm like a shitty person and like, you're gonna leave me? Three, three times a week, probably. Three times a week. Like I'm always like, and I know I'm a good person, but you know we all like little comments that normally people wouldn't think yeah. twice about. I'm like, oh my god, am I a horrible person for saying that? Is this person gonna tell this person and then the whole world's gonna explode? Mm -hmm. Like you have to start kind of like not giving a fuck and like your best friends are gonna stay there with you even if you do fuck up mm -hmm. even if the world is against you you should have a support system that is still there for you <laughs> Why are you laughing? Sorry, because like, of Ben. <laughs> ben, stop being so fucking <laughs> annoying. I'm talking about really I, deep shit. How do you forgive people that have wronged you? Is it okay to hold grudges if they deserve it? Okay. We talked about this. Yeah, we just talked we touched about this. I never hold grudges, but there's certain people that you need to let go of. You know what it is? If you're going to forgive someone, forgive them fully. Don't be that person who like... Don't hold on to it. Either like let go and like move forward. Or don't. Like or either don't. cut them out or forgive them fully because there's nothing worse than like when you wrong someone and they say, okay, I forgive you. And then a week later they're like, okay, but you called me a bitch or you did this. It's like, oh my God. Like if you're not going to let it go. And there's some don't friends where it's like me. a never ending cycle of like just bullshit. Like the amount and of lies. And shit and like manipulation. Can I put on the glasses? I just want to try them on. Yeah. Let me try them on. Oh, you're too. kind of blind. Ooh, how do I cope? How do you cope with a boyfriend following Instagram models and liking their pics? Okay, another thing that's really fucked is like I want my boyfriend to be like liking all my best friend's bikini photos, tip photos. Like I would get offended if Ethan didn't like one of Annika's ass pics. And like, if it's Alexis Ren girls, fucking relax. If it's Emrata, relax. Like I like send my boyfriend pictures of Emrata, and I send him pictures of Kylie Jenner, and I'm like, she's oh, so I send I send hot. Ben photos of other girls all the time, and I'm like, this girl's so fucking gorgeous, and he goes, I don't see it. He lies to my face. How to stop feeling so much heartbreak after so long? It's not going away. It will. I know this sounds really scary, but it could take years, but it will. You're not going to be on the altar with your new person like being like about to get married thinking of your ex. I promise you. That's you have love goggles right now. But they will go away, but I know how painful it is, so let yourself feel sad. I think that's the most important mm -hmm. thing, is let yourself cry. Emotions are like puppies. The more you try to ignore them, the more they want your yeah, attention. Yeah, you always text me that. It's true. I actually like that. Mm -hmm. Let yourself feel. Why don't you feel. become a therapist? I'm too emotional to be a therapist. Like, someone would like tell falling. me what happens, and I'd be like, <laughs> I'm so Ben's laughing because he knows it's true. Like, I would cry my eyes out if someone told me something that, like, happened to them, you know? Any positive thoughts you remind yourself of frequently? Love you. I feel like you're a more positive, like, self-love person than I. Like, is there anything that you tell yourself to make yourself feel better? Oh, it's, tell them what your mom says about your body, but, like, to your boyfriend, don't. Like, your body. Oh, my mom used to always say to me, my mom used to be, like, even things you're insecure about on your body, never point it out to, like, people mm -hmm. you're, like, you love or, like, your boyfriend or anyone because they never notice it on you. You notice it specifically. And when you point it out to someone, then they start noticing it. Where someone would never, if you think your arm might be a little bit, like, pudgy or something, no one else no notices one that. And when you start saying that, then they start to notice it. You know what and I mean? And I'm the biggest hypocrite. I mean, you guys know I self, I'm so self-deprecating. I make fun of myself all the time on my channel and to Ben. I'm like, oh, my God, my cellulite, blah, blah, blah. But it's true. I always try. I think back to what Rachel tells me, and it's like, try to, Not you don't, to don't speak or your boyfriend or anyone to yourself if you even think it if you say it out loud it makes it more true so try to just like speak nicely to yourself i think we should end there because we've been filming for i'm not kidding two hours <laughs> two hours the sun has set <laughs> two hours before the lighting Abby had how nice the lighting was yeah. and now it's awful we were a little savage but i hope you guys don't get like overly sensitive and just know that we're having fun and we're just trying to give our two cents and be somewhat helpful and we love you and sorry if we were like harsh, but like and crazy and weird, <laughs> but we are weird. I love you. Thank you, Rachel, for giving your advice to all my. I'm actually in Anna's one of her first videos. That's true. Go watch my first Eminem one. Shorts. Yeah, you'll see. But I love you guys so so much. You will be okay. This too shall pass, and I will see you in my next video. <laughs>